All right, so this is the final product. This is what we're shooting for here. These are all, oops, focus, focus. Separated, they're tinned, they're ready to solder on to be it a board or, you know, the Easy Digi Kit or a TRRS connector. Uh, these are the cheap, cheap, cheap headphones and they're everywhere. People have broken ones and we're talking about working on a budget, building your rad terminal at home. You might come across these. You might think, well, I'm going to use that. And then once you cut into them, find out that it's going to be harder than you thought. So I'm going to try to make a bad cut here, like a bad cut. Ooh. Oops. I'm trying to do a bad job here. I'm doing it. Okay, great. I did a good job at doing a bad job. Okay. So do you see the fuzz? When you cut these, there cannot be any fuzz, that little white speck of fuzz. No good. So let's start with a clean cut, nice clean cut. Boom. That's what you want to see. Nice clean cut. All right. So next you might think, well, my tools have, have this and you just crimp down like this and you, well, crud, that actually worked. Guys, that's not supposed to work, but uh, I'm going to show you another method that if you're having a hard time getting that wire to come off, because maybe yours isn't as brittle as this one. Let me wipe this ex excess solder off. So we're going to come back and I'm going to just slowly turn that in my fingers and melt it. And you don't have to be too crazy about it. I mean, you can look, that's not like, it's not melted all the way through, but when I grab here, it's going to come right off. <laughs> Guy, proved you a liar. Jeez, my gosh. Okay. So the things, the tricks that <laughs> I mean to not work are working, and the tricks that I mean to work are not. So I'm going to start all over again. Let's see. I didn't get a good clean. Not a good clean cut, so I'm going to start again. I'm going to trim it. Boom. There's the clean cut. Okay. Now, now you come to me. I'm going to hold this steady here, and I'm going to melt it. Okay, there we go. That's how it's supposed to go. So from here, you very gently, you separate these. These have a nylon core, and it any point if you see any nylon showing you need to start over so clean the soldering iron again I'm going to turn this all the way up all the way up this is now at 450 on the iron and this is a you know nice high amp iron it's not the cheapest it's not the most expensive it's whatever you can find on Amazon whatever you've got it'll probably work so come in close to me here I'm going to get some tin on, on the soldering iron. Okay, so we're going to go straight to tinning these. I think I'm hot enough here. So put it into the solder and add into the puddle and add into the puddle and add. And when we've got one more into the puddle and add. There we go. Those are four individual tinned wires. We didn't remove any of the coating the enamel coating on there, we just left it. The soldering iron melted it off. The wires are tinned. They're ready to connect to your, to this or to the board or whatever you're using. So just a quick tip there on how to work with the cheap headphone wires. You know, if you guys are able to come across the name brand stuff, this is a monster brand cable. This is a TRS connector tip ring sleeve this is a trrs that's why there's four wires so you'll notice the quality in the wire is substantially higher in the monster cable you know again this was still free but it would cost six bucks to buy i found this on the street so uh you know it all works it all does the same thing it'll work for the rad terminal all right